Peace. This is big, man. Check it out. Do you want to get robbed? Hi, I'm Viv Campbell, and I play guitar for a living. I'm here to drive a rally car. Good morning. Yeah, how long is this going to stay clean? <laughs> yeah. I should have got black. There you go. Yeah, I'm here today just to get fitted for the seat, um, get familiar, get a first look at the car. Uh, I live about two and a half, three hours away from here, so I figured if I was coming up all this way for that, I'd try and get some seat time as well. So I'm not going to that car, obviously. It's not quite ready yet but uh, I'm going to go out in a, another Subaru four-wheel drive and get a couple hours instruction which I could certainly use and uh, it's a good day for that. It's raw still we've got a lot of work still left to do so you know obviously the goal is just to fit you in the car today and, and make sure that the seat position's right. The car will look quite a bit different when you come back there'll be rally tires, rally rims, we'll, we have a visual package that we're working on um, obviously a co-driver seat and all the other stuff that you'll need so this is the one well this is my first event I have driven uh, all-wheel all drive cars up here at the Team O'Neill course which I've done a few times over the past winter um, to be honest I do find the four-wheel drive a bit more forgiving although the rear-wheel drive cars are a lot of fun but uh, if you want to get the, from point A to B faster, four-wheel drive is a way to do You've it. You've done quite a bit of driving. Do you do you have a preference on seating position? You know, I've never thought much about it. I like my arms a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit more less less angle on my arms would be. Okay. But it's definitely good for the clutch. I mean, this feels good for we the might paddle. Move so. it back if you want. Yeah. For sure. All right. So that means we are almost ready. So I will do a demo. Trail break into a pendulum. Say you have a a six into a one. Left six, right one. Okay. You're going to be breaking, and I always say breaking six, because if I hear six, I'm going to go flat out. Yeah. But if I hear breaking six, I'm going to go, what? And the right one. Oh, because there's a hairpin after the fast one. So I would trail break the six and shift down and use that swing from the trail break to make my pendulum. That's a trail break into a pendulum. We're going to combine a few. Because of COVID, uh, Def Leppard, we weren't touring, uh, nor was I touring with my sideband last in line. So I had a lot of time on my hands and I got to play with cars and, and I'd heard about Team O'Neill and I went online and uh, I knew it was somewhere on the East Coast and uh, I was really, really happy to find out that it was only a couple hours up the road here in New Hampshire. So uh, I booked the course and came up, did the five day course. The only thing I think I can really solidly take away from that first five day course was that I wasn't as good a driver as I thought I was, you know, so I was a little bit bummed. So I booked another one, I came back and that kind of solidified what I'd learned the first time. And then it was on my third trip up here that suddenly, I don't know why, it was halfway through the week and just all of a sudden a light bulb went off and I was like, oh, that's what they're talking about. I got this. Okay, so we're gonna go up the slalom to the top, turn around. We're gonna stay on the slalom for a little bit. We're not gonna go on the lower road right away. Aim over here, aim over there. Stay over here, now look over here. Now look over there, up there, top of the hill, nice. Very good. The road racers, they say the perfect line entering from the outside, but they don't have this. Yeah. <laughs> They got a they got a nice wide track. Yeah. So the perfect line in rally is the line where the grip is. Yes. And you're doing that turn, you're doing the modulation quite well. Let off, okay, pendulum, right? Turn back, let counter steer. Good. Oh yeah, Vivian's doing really well. I'm surprised actually how fast he is. But of course, having been a team O'Neill as, uh, as many different times. Um, I, I'm really impressed. We're still working on refinements of, of trying to 
car placement exactly. You know, every once in a while we go a little wide, which is in a rally would be a problem. And Vivian's very fast, and he's definitely fully ready for this rally. So yeah, back when uh, Vivian first arrived here, uh, I knew who he was. Uh, been a big fan of him for, for many, many years. Uh, and came here, his driving, again, he's been doing a lot of tarmac, but on the gravel, he definitely was uh, struggling quite a bit when he got here. Uh, gave him some demo rides, he won my autograph. Uh, and I told him I'm really bad at guitar, and he says that made him feel better because he's really good at guitar. So we kind of just developed a good relationship between, you know, I do a demo run and I said, remember Vivian, I can't play guitar very good. And he says, well, I can. So yeah, we just developed a really good relationship. So you see the speed, it starts to handle a little better, doesn't it? Yeah. On the left, stay out wide. Stay out, let it tighten up here. There you go. Right? Right, yep. Be patient here. The car is great. It's really fast, it's super tight. Um, just trying to get used to the, the brake modulation. So my role has been just uh, advanced training. So as he's gone from uh, being a school student to move into more advanced training areas, that's where I kind of stepped in and started helping out with more advanced training. And we've taken that even a step further where Tim, uh, Tim O'Neill himself is now involved. Uh, and again, you know, talking suspension setup, car setup, and you know, all these things as a driver that you should know to be able to to help your crew and get to what you need to do a successful rally. Vivian's done a great job transitioning from the school to actually now being prepped and ready to do a rally. Uh, after being here several times, the last time he was here, uh, we took him to a little bit another level, pushed him a little bit more, and he took to it really well. Well, the last time I was here as a student, um, it was the, the final Friday, and it was a pretty miserable kind of a day, you know, it was wet and muddy. Um, and because I'd been here a few times, you know, I, I think that uh, I was allowed to break out one of the turbocharged Subarus. And so I, I got through that and I was running with Brent actually. And he said, um, he said, you should enter a rally sprint. He says, we do some events up here and, you know, we can rent a car and he says one of us guys will co-drive for you. So that was the first time I actually, it came on my radar. and. And I'm glad it did, you know, it's really given me a, 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 lot, a lot of focus for the last few months to really work towards this, uh, you know. Our first test run, uh, we're going to do a slight seat adjustment for him. And uh, we did boil some coolant over on a short run. And it looks like we have a bad radiator cap, so kind of an easy fix. So that's what today's about, just that, getting the car shook down, work all the bugs out, get busy and comfortable. Uh,
Oh, well, quick, dude, dude. And then go. Go. Break. Wait for it. Gas. Wait for it. See, you're way out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, my only expectation is, is to, to get through it. I mean, I'm not nervous as such, you know, and I feel the same way when I go on stage. I don't necessarily get nervous, but I do get apprehensive. I mean, you, you feel excitement. Uh, so that, that adrenaline helps you stay focused, you know? So I just want to complete it. Um, I want to not embarrass myself, not break the car, not disappoint Al or Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just little things like that. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Start 100, stay left over crest. Press right two, don't cut very long. Left five over crest. Caution, turn right four up narrow. Left four over crest, easy, easy. It's narrow and tight. Five. Break early, here, yeah, break, break early, this is very tight. Uh, right four and to a left two, right two, left two, right two. Stay out a little bit and then come in. Easy on the gas. There you go. Up over, left over crest, stay in tight. Easy break early. Yeah, there you are. Come through. Short, left three, left three. Easy, easy, easy. Get deep, get deep, get deep. There you go. 170, right four. Stay in the track. Tight. Go on hard, right three, easy here, it's very tight. Break it early for this, break here, break, 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 and then go. There you are. Up through, this way we got a right foot break, easy and break early. And here, up over, there you go. Through, Woo. right, take, take a deep breath, easy through here, stay in. There you go. Keep it clean, watch. Don't push too hard. There you go. This is the hard two. Break early. Break, 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 break. Stay with the break a little bit. Stay with the break. There you go. Get in tight on my side here. There you go. Over crest. Right five short. Left five into right four. Left 70. Breaking right five. So over crest, left four, right three, right three, right three, easy into a left three long. Left three long, right four, over crest, right four, over crest. Don't cut, don't cut, turn, left three, turn left three. Right four. Turn, right two. Turn right two up. Right three over crest. And to a left one, left one. Hairpin left. All the way around. Left. You're good, you're good. Through finish. Break, breaking left and then we're going way over. There you go. Right on. <laughs> Woo! The focus required for driving and the focus required for being a professional musician are somewhat similar. I mean, the driving thing is a lot more intense, I think. Um, but I find as, as a guitar player, when I'm playing shows, because I've been doing it so long, it is so easy for me. You know, it is kind of second nature. And um, I have to remind myself to stay focused because sometimes when I'm playing guitar, if I start thinking about what's for dinner, 
whatever, you know. And I, all of a sudden I realize that my fingers are doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, but I've no idea what's next because I've just, in that moment, realized that I'm not following what my fingers are doing. And that's when it all goes to hell in the handbag. So I suppose there's different, you know, levels of concentration. I mean, there's just a lot more consequences when you're driving 70 miles an hour in a forest, you know, and there's trees all around you. The, the worst thing that happens at the show is that your bandmates are playing and they look over at you and you get that. There you go. <laughs> a long turn. Stay in the car, stay in. On the gas. There it is. Up through. Through. There you go, stay right in the tire track. This will be chicane, left entry. Every, everyone up here is, is very, very encouraging. You know, it's really, everything's positive, positive reinforcement. I find all the guys up here to be very, very patient, very instructive. And like I said before, every, every instructor has a different way of conveying their point and some of them uh, different people connect with at different times you know for me uh, I've learned a little something from all of them uh, everyone's been very generous with their time and their attitude and their patience and, and like I say nothing but positive encouragement and that really really helps you know? nose in break early break early nose in that's it that's it nice oh yeah that felt good didn't it yeah down that hill <laughs> uh, too much fun. be tomorrow you'll be driving around you'll still be driving i know <laughs> i was just thinking this this is far and away the most fun i've ever had driving right I mean, of all the racing i've ever done this is definitely the most fun yeah